Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Miss R Fabulous and I'm back at it again with another video. Pretty pen any side way oi. Guys, you guys know that it's been a very, very discombobulated kind of um, few days, I must say. But nevertheless, we move. Let's go. Can't lie, yeah, she have to give me some. Mommy knew you want for money, it's not a part of the plan But then she have to come and give me one So me make the girl bend up, bend up Style where you have to not a ten up, ten up Oh, the blood clot, them a friend up, friend up Police and me are the boat, get up, get up Got a set up, set up, Mr. Ben up, Ben up Me call Jack So, guys, today I'm here for story time This story time is so fucked Because it, it literally is a Mazza, like it's a Maserati, like it's a mad thing, sad thing. But you know what? We move, we keep it moving, I don't care. Listen, you can agree to disagree, I'd rather you not, okay, on this channel. So keep your opinions to yourself. Well, I mean, majority of you weirdos are going to comment, oh, she's a hoe, she's done at it. How can you do that? How can you do this? You have no class. Look at you. You're this. But between me and you bitches behind me, that's waiting for me to give a fuck. But I don't become a pretty pen any side. But the difference between me and you is, I own my shit. And yes, I know what I'm about to tell you is very, very discombobulated. You're going to be thinking, what the actual fuck? But you know what? A lot of girls out here, a lot of girls out here really be doing the same shit, really be doing worse than what I'm about to tell you. But obviously, no, girls, some certain people are not gonna, some, certain girls don't feel comfortable to tell you their deepest, darkest secrets or something that's gonna make them look bad. But hear what I'm saying, I ain't got time for all of that. I'm telling you, I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna be very honest and it is what it is. Like, so before I get into this story time, guys, I basically simply wanna tell you guys what the wig that I'm wearing on my head. And guys, let me just take out this for you and show you what I'm talking about. So I'm just gonna quickly give you the rundown about this wig. I've never received, like bear in mind you this guys, this wig was already made. This wig came already made and it was a deep wave wig. Obviously I've combed it out and stuff. So to get that Afro kind of look, um, Obviously, you you can agree or disagree. People, some people, some people are gonna say they probably don't like the way it looks on my head because it's all over the place. But listen, it's five o'clock in the morning, honey, and um, I'm going to be recording this. Sometimes I really like that Afro look. Obviously, when my face is beat and I'm looking pretty pen any side, way away, yeah, the hair comes together. I feel like you don't even need makeup to wear this hair because the hair is. The volume of this hair is ridiculous like you would actually think that this company put four bundles in this and they actually didn't that's just how the hair is like i haven't parted properly i just i just literally just pull it on my head and that is it i didn't give it a partner or anything like that it's a frontal lace wig and it's a deep wave unit it already came like this unfortunately it didn't come pre-plucked so you will have to definitely pluck it yourself if you want to pluck it I mean, some of the company's hair does come pre plucked so that's the good thing about it as well. You can purchase pre plucked bundles from, from them. I'm going to insert maybe two pictures. Actually, no, Renee, give them three. I'm going to insert three beautiful pictures of how I slayed this wig. I slayed this wig to the gods, honey. So I'm going to insert three pictures here. Wah, bah, bah. Showing you guys how beautiful this hair is and how it looks amazing. I did get a lot of compliments on Instagram and on Snapchat. Um, about the wig asking how did I get the wigs to look like this and to look very full guys I honestly didn't do nothing but comb the wig out I combed up it with an afro comb and it literally went bushy like this as you guys can see it has a lot of hair like it's a lot of hair make sure you guys go ahead and purchase these bundles if you want to know where I got this wig from if you like the way this wig looks in my pictures I'm gonna see baby girl make sure you go ahead and purchase make sure you click the link in the description box below and go and purchase your yourself some beautiful deep wave bundles right um promise coming so you know you gotta look pretty pen any side let's get into this story time and guys you cannot talk shit to me you're entitled to your opinions but understand that when you do comment on my channel and you do talk shit to me in the comments nine out of ten you will either get a disrespect message back or you'll simply just get blocked and delete and removed okay (sighs) 
So, guys, so let's start this story time. So I was in a relationship, yeah, with this guy, and we're gonna call this guy Mango. So I was in a relationship with this guy called Mango, yeah? And every, like, in the beginning of the relationship, things was good, like, I would say like, a good six to seven months in the relationship, me and this guy was very lovey-dovey. This guy was really, really good. That like, we was good to each other. Do you understand? I feel like it was the early days. We was getting to know each other. We was, you know, like we was just getting to suss each other out. To, to, do you know what I mean? Like you know, when you're with a guy, you want to know how the guy is. You want to get to know him first before you do anything. Do you get it? So I just feel like with him, it was just like we was getting to know each other. We was vibing with each other. We always we was going out all the time. You know, I was always at his house all the time by the way i'm just letting you guys know that i basically lived with this guy when you come when it comes to when you come to think about it i basically lived with him so i was just like we was together and everything things was right things was good but obviously like the position that this guy was in it was very hard for me because i was not used to being with someone that's in the in a very big limelight or that's out in the public or things like that you get it so even though he was more popular and he had a lot going on for himself and he had a lot of females on that d like when i tell you let me ladies let me tell you guys something here yeah? don't put yourself in a situation where you're going to be with a man that's very popular that gets super attention and a lot of females are waiting to dive and ride on that drop key okay be very careful who you choose to be with coming from me the last experience <laughs> with cuckoo you should know so be very careful of what guy you choose to be with because listen you rather go with a guy that's low key and no one knows him you're more happy more peaceful and to be honest with you i'm not going to lie every relationship has its ups and downs so i would say like a good when it got to like the second year into this relate in, into into the relationship and stuff like there was a lot of misunderstandings and he was very like he was very aggressive sometimes with me um and then i feel like with him he always he has like a very big voice so like it was very hard for me to state my opinions and stuff like that so i was always staying at this guy's house um i was so i'm not gonna lie guys i was in love with him like we both loved each other we both cared about each other but obviously he loved and he showed he, his love in a different way than i would show my love so it got to the point where like I'm not gonna make this story long. I'm just gonna cut in. I'm just gonna cut out and just cut to this chase because obviously I ain't got time to be here till nine o'clock in the morning. It got to the point where, cool, things took a very big turn on our relationship, and he was being very, very, you know, aggressive sometimes. He didn't want me to go out. He didn't want me to be around certain people. He wanted me to be in the house at a certain time, you know, and. Obviously, because he was African, I'm used to a woman cooking for me every single day. I'm used to a woman doing that, red tete, blah, blah, blah. But obviously, in a Jamaican household, it's quite different when you're a woman. Like, you don't cook for your partner every day. And obviously, in an African household, I'm assuming they cook for their partner. And, and they just they just cook for their, their partner a lot. So with him, it's like he, he always had me doing things like that. So like, I used to always go to the market, get stuff, come back, cook for him and things like that. And I just felt like... I, was, I did enjoy it because I love the feeling of like being able to do things for your man but at the same time like don't let your man take the piss out of you so cool things were going good and then it got to a point where I couldn't take it no more things started to go bad I didn't, I didn't like the way he disrespected me I didn't like the way he spoke to me I just didn't like certain things that he was doing and there was times where yeah we'll go to sleep and I'll go through his phone guys when i tell you there was times where this guy would be sleeping next to me and i would just literally take his phone and i would literally go through his phone i always knew the password because every time that we were sitting next to each other anytime we're laying in bed and he goes through his phone and i see him open that screen i always look in the corner of my eye to what numbers he's pointing at and then i used to always like remember it really really fast and i used to write it down in my notes so there was there's been a few times and i'm not gonna lie to you there's been a few times where i am the guilty bitch i've gone through his phone i've opened up the phone now i'm reading messages and stuff and i've seen that this guy is talking to another girl so as he's talking to the girl now i'm thinking what the fuck like what's going on then 
I never said nothing to him because obviously he wasn't talking to the girl in a very bad way for you to say, oh, you're cheating on me. I didn't have that, you're cheating on me. You know us females, we like to have, we wanna, it's like you're waiting for him to fuck up and you want him to fuck up so you can go mad and be like, you're, you're fucking cheating on me, yeah? So it was the thing where I didn't have that. Do you get it? So it's the thing where because I don't have that evidence and I'm just seeing him chatting to her, but I'm not seeing what I wanna see so I can get onto him. Couple weeks later, I'm, I'm upstairs, yeah, I'm sitting on the bed. I'm watching Hollyoaks. If you know me, you know I love Hollyoaks. I'm a sucker for Hollyoaks, period, yeah. Looks now, and he's come upstairs, and as he's come upstairs, like he's sitting with me, yeah, and we're both watching Hollyoaks. But he gets up, he gets up off the bed, and then he goes downstairs. But he was on his phone before he got out of the room. So before he gets out of the room, he was sitting on the bed with me, but I noticed that he was always on the phone. And I looked at him, but he had like that kind of guilty look, like he's just done something, but he don't know what he's done. So I'm thinking, what, like I looked at him, I was thinking, what's going on? Like, why are you moving like that? But it wasn't in the sense where I was picking up on it because remember, I was watching Hollyoaks, you know? I ain't got time. You see when Hollyoaks is on, I don't care about nothing around me. I'm watching my soap opera. I'm watching my soap, waiting for it to done. And when it's done, you talk to me nicely, you talk, talk to me at all, okay, honey? So I'm watching Hollyoaks now and it's gone on break. I've gone back in my phone, I'm looking on Instagram. I'm just doing my little checkups and stuff, yeah? And then after that happened, Hollyoaks comes back on. He then comes, obviously, he went downstairs, but he then comes upstairs. He comes upstairs, he sits on the bed, he looks at me, he asks if I'm all right, if I'm good. He starts to be too friendly, show me mad love, like affectionate, affection. So I was like, okay, cool, that's weird. What are you up to? And he's like, no, I'm not up to nothing. I'm not up to nothing. I'm like, Mango, you're up to something. He's like, babes, I'm not up to nothing. So he puts the phone back on the, the, on the on the dresser, you're in it, yeah? And then I'm still sitting there watching Hollyoaks, in it? And then I hear the phone going off, like, just beeping up, just beeping up, just beeping up. And I'm thinking, why the fuck is this phone just, just doing a madness? Like, what's going on? But he's gone back downstairs at this point. So I, I'm still watching Hollyoaks and stuff. So I hear the phone, like, go off again, go off again. So the, and then instead of, like, obviously he was getting WhatsApp messages, but then the phone started to ring. And I was thinking, this is so annoying, but he didn't hear because he went downstairs and obviously the toilet is at the back of the house. So as, he, as he's at the back of the house and he's watching, he's gone toilet. Obviously my mind was just like, get, like, someone was telling me, get up and open that, open that phone. It's like, the devil was here and God was there and God was like, don't do that to yourself. You don't need to go in his phone. Have faith in him. Have trust in him. When I want you to find out this, I will let you find out that. And then the devil was like, I want you to go in the phone right like now. Renee, you need to get up and you need to go open that phone. Get up. You know you want to do it. You know you want to go in that phone. You know, you know, you, you know he's cheating on you, bitch. You need to go open that phone and gain your strength back. So obviously I'm sitting there and I'm just thinking, oh my God, these voices in my fucking head, like, no. So I got up, yeah. I was like, no, fuck this. He's still in the toilet. So I quickly got up. But obviously at this point, I forgot his pin, yeah. And I started typing the pin in, but I was thinking, no, nah, I'm not, I couldn't have forgot it. He probably changed the pin because I'm good at remembering. I'm good at remembering stuff, you know. So the fact that I don't remember the pin, you got me fucked up because you definitely changed it. So he's changed his pin now. So I'm trying to open it, open it, but I can't open it. But I realized that obviously he's coming back upstairs. So I've gone back in my seat and I've gone on my phone acting like I'm not doing nothing at all, you know? And then obviously he's getting ready to go meet somebody downstairs that's coming to the house. So he goes in his other, he goes to another room and he gets changed and stuff, yeah? Because that's his like, his wardrobe room. That's where he gets all, that, all his clothes are in that room. So as he's gone, the phone messaged again on WhatsApp. So I've looked at the screen, yeah? And the screen was the girl, he was basically cheating on me with some dirty girl, yeah? And the fucking message on the screen was like, oh, you know what you did. Don't ever try and make me look like I'm the bad girl. You know you have a girlfriend and you was fucking me in a hotel. When I say, yeah? When I say, you see Mango? Mango wanted me to lick off his blood clot face, rude boy. Because you see when I saw you was fucking me out in the hotel room, my heart, I stood there and my heart was bleeding. 
yeah i wanted to literally beat him up like i wanted to bust him up like what do you mean you was fucking me in a hotel room the girl yeah had no chill she had no shame she was proud of what she did so as i've seen that now you was fucking me in the hotel room don't act like it was me that it don't act like it was me it was somebody else you know it was someone else you've been sleeping around with other girls don't ever come here and try to chat to me so i'm thinking no you're chatting shit so i'm thinking what is she talking about what's she talking about so obviously now um i couldn't open the phone i don't know the password so he's coming to the room now i've gone back into my position yeah he's coming to the room and he's picked up the phone so he's the first thing he's done when he saw that message on the screen he's looked at me but i'm i'm good like i didn't show him that i was upset i didn't show him that i was pissed off i showed him that man's gucci out here manica like i'm gonna play you i'm gonna play you at your best game until you feel like you want to tell me what the fuck you've been doing so we're just sitting there now and as i'm sitting there guys He's like to me, oh, Ren, he's like, oh, Ren, oh, um, I've got something to tell you. So I'm like, what do you want to tell me? Like, what do you want to tell me? He's like, now I'm getting heated because it's like, now I know, it. Like, man, man know what you've been out here doing, but I want to know for, know for sure, for no, like, I want you to admit it to me. So we're sitting there, I'm sitting there now, but my heart's beating, thinking, please don't tell me you've done this to me. And then after, he's like, oh, no, I fucked up. I was like, how did you fuck up? What did you do? Then he's like, oh, obviously, like, obviously like obviously like i'm like obviously like what at this point my heart's beating i don't know if this guy's gonna say that he's cheated or he's done something he's going to prison what is it i'm trying to figure it out then he says to me oh just come sit like sit sit back down you don't need to stand up because you see when he told me i've got something to tell you man stood up on my 10 toes ready to know what's going on he's like nah sit down like let's sit down like give me your phone let me hold your phone like, i want your i want your full attention like i want you to be calm you seem angry but i'm like listen mango just tell me what you've done bro just get to the point and stop telling it like he's like oh obviously i fucked up i said what do you mean you fucked up he's like i fucked up i said what do you mean you fucked up explain to me how you fucked up he's like oh i slept with this girl and obviously she gave me chlamydia this point in my life you niggas are complete trash. He's like, she gave me chlamydia. I said, when did you find out you had chlamydia? He goes, oh, I found out like now because she told me she's got it. So that means I've got it. I said, well, I don't know about that because I done a test. Cause this is the thing. You see when I was in a relationship with him, knowing that he's the type of guy that's in the public and he get his, he gets bitches and he gets, you know what I mean? He's in the field like that. So I, I always say to myself, no matter how comfortable I am with a man, no matter how I might be in a relationship with a man, I don't trust these niggas, period. So when he told me that, I said, you know what? I'm still going to go get checked out every three months. Every three months, I was getting checked out. Even when we was in a, even when we was on good terms and I felt like he was cheating on me and I had my little, little moments where I would start to overthink situations, I would go to the clinic and go get checked because you can't trust these guys. And that is the reason why you can't trust these dirty blood clot niggas because they're just disgusting. They're just done out here. So when he's told me that he thinks he's got chlamydia and I've probably got it, I pulled up my blood clot message, yeah? I pulled up my message from the sexual health clinic and I said to him, Babes, I did a test last week. I'm clean. I don't know if you got it, but me and you ain't fucked in three weeks. So what's going on? Because I'm on my period. We ain't been having sex. And obviously because at the time I was on the injection. And obviously, you know, the injection, it makes you bleed. It's not 100% no period for the whole three months. I was bleeding out like I'm running the tap water. I was bleeding out. My gutter was bleeding like shooting out with blood. I was bleeding out. And when I was bleeding, he knew I was bleeding and me and him couldn't have sex for a couple weeks, like a good two to three weeks we couldn't have sex for because the, like it was so bad that I had to go back to the sexual clinic and get, get them to like give me something to stop the bleeding. And they gave me like one of the contraception pills that kind of stopped that, stopped the bleeding for a very long time. So when he's telling me this, I'm like, so me and you ain't been sexual. Do you know what I mean? So I want to know, how do you know you've got this? Go get checked. He goes and get checked. We, a week later, he's come back and said, oh, I've got it. So I've said to him, who's the girl? He don't want to tell me who the girl is. I said, who's the girl? He don't want to tell me who the girl is. I'm like, okay, cool. So tell me why now I've gone to some event. 
the girls come up to me she sat on my table with me and my other three friends yeah bear in mind it's not other three friends it's that one of them is my cousin one of them is a family friend so i'm sitting down on the table with two of these girls yeah with my people they're my doggy my chargy now tell me why this little dirty headless chicken with her dirty 613 looking like some dirty dark brown hairstyle yeah she's come on the table and knowing that me and her used to be tight used to be friends but we ain't friends no more so she came to the table she's like oh hi renee oh you're right i'm like i'm good you're good i'm thinking like i'm not the type of person to like to smile in your face and say hello to you like that yeah when i know i don't like you like if i don't like you i don't like you or fake bitch do you know what i mean like, if i don't like you i'm not gonna kick in your face knowing i don't like you i'm gonna keep it 100 like so when she came on my table she's like hi renee you're right i was like What's good? Like, I'm ready because I don't know what angle you're coming up from. I don't know if you're trying to jump me. I don't know if you're trying to do something. I don't know if you're trying to be cheeky. I've got to keep my square. I've got to keep my my, my surroundings tight. So she comes to the table. Hi, Mine, you're right. I'm like, yeah, what's good? Like, I shook my shoulders. She's like, oh, like, I want to speak to you. Can I speak to you in private? So she's like, she's like, oh, um, I just wanted to say, I was like, no, if it's something very important and it's very like a sensitive, a sensitive thing, chat to me in private, don't talk to me in front of people, don't come in a club, like you're in a club and you want to chat to me about something in a club and you're telling me that I'm going to get mad, the fact that you're telling me that I'm going to get mad, it's, it's what I'm going to get mad, now I'm going to get mad in it, so it's now, I'm, I'm like, cool, say no more. We've gone downstairs and I'm like to my girls, I'm coming back, I'm just going downstairs. So we've gone downstairs now. As we've gone downstairs, there's like a, a, a little lounge area and there's like the clubs upstairs. So that like bare people was upstairs, but the lounge is downstairs. So there was like nobody down there really because that premises was off. So she's like, oh, basically, I just wanted to say, I know we're not friends no more. I know we have our differences. Like, bro, the bitch is probably watching this and I don't give a fuck if you're watching it. Don't be bad on comments. So... She's like, I know we're not friends no more, but I just wanted to say to you that obviously I have something to tell you. I don't want you to take it in that way. Um, and blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, what, is, like what? what do you want to tell me? Like, what is it that you want to tell me? She's like, oh, oh, I've been sleeping with your boyfriend. Pardon? Wait, hold on, hold on. You could never, you could never come up to me in a club and tell me you've been fucking my man. So I'm like, what do you mean you've been sleeping with my boyfriend? She goes, you, I know you heard what I said. I've been sleeping with your boyfriend. I've never in my life broken no in 0 0.6 seconds. The way I fucked her up. Do you know what it is? You can agree to disagree. I'd rather you not on my channel. A lot of you lot can say, oh, but why would you fight this girl when it's not you, it's not even her? You should be angry. You should be angry at her boy, at your boyfriend. Let me tell you something. I'm going to get to what I did to that little pussy hole, yeah? But before I even get to him... She was disrespectful. You're not going to come up in a club where I'm sitting on my VIP table with my girls and you're going to think you're going to come try tell me you've been fucking my nigga. No, you knew you was fucking him. So stay fucking him, but don't tell me because until I, until I know I'll deal with the situation. But you wanted to come into a very public place to tell me you've been fucking him when you know you could reach out to me on social media or ask my number and chat to me woman to woman but the way you handled the situation was rude and disrespectful so i had to drag her up like she's like oh yeah i'm fucking your man i just wanted to let you know and I, obviously i don't know if you're still with him so the way she said it's like you don't have no respect for me you're not trying to respect me you're trying to take the piss out of me like i'm some dickhead so obviously i grabbed her now and i was fucking her up like start punching her punching her punching her i dragged up her lace frontal wig dropped it on the floor and then obviously security guards comes and they grab me in it and they're like oh you're not allowed to come you're not allowed in the club you're not allowed in the club so i'm thinking you fucking stupid so obviously now I was at my, ba my bag and my, my jacket's upstairs with my girls. Like, I'm, there's no way on earth I'm leaving my stuff. So they, ex they escort me upstairs now. I've, I've told the girls, obviously the girls can see that I got into a fight because three fucking nails broke and the other girl had no wig on her head and they had to take her out to the other, the other bit in the club so that nobody would see her. So obviously now I'm thinking I'm mad angry now. I'm mad pissed off. I'm fuming. Like this girl, this girl, you know, has embarrassed me. From she's come into the club and told me that my nigga and her, she's been fucking out my man. I said no, no, no. My name is not Billy the fucking Bob or Megan the fucking fish. Listen, fuck going home, you know. I'm no, no. 
fuck going home. So I said, no, I'm pulling up at this guy's house. I'm pulling up today. I'm pulling up right now. It was like, what, six, five, six a.m. in the morning. It was like five, I, it was going to six, just about going to six. I remember because I booked my Uber. So I'm like, nah, I need to buck him, bruv. I'm not a prick. You know, like, when I'm angry, I'm angry. Like, I want to fight to you. Like, the only way for me to be calm and collective is when I get this anger out of me and mash up your blood clot. So in my head, I'm ringing off his phone, ringing off his phone. I'm ringing off the phone, ringing off the phone. I'm calling Mango so many times. Mango's not answering my phone. So now I'm feeling disrespected, like... No, not only have you been fucking this bitch on me, a girl that I don't like, you know I don't like her because I sit down in bed with you, I've laid down, we fucked a couple bare times, I spoke to you about this girl, I've told you about this girl, you was in, you, you know, you was in the situation with me, with this girl, and you helped me get over our friendship with this girl. So not only did you know about her, you basically knew her through me and you knew her in a sense where she was Renee's girl. Now we're not friends no more. You've now decided to put your sausage inside of her nosage. Like, don't disrespect. So I'm calling his phone. He's not picking up the phone. I'm getting irate, rude boy. Like, right now I want to lick off faces, innit? So as I've literally now, I brought my Uber to go to his house. Bear in mind his house is pure far. I live in East at the time. I'm going all the way out here. So I'm um, in the Uber, I'm going to the house. My girls are like, Ren, are you sure? Like, I don't think you should pull up. I don't think you should pull up now. I said, listen, by thunder, by light, by storm, by fire, he must open that door. I will lick it, blood clot down. I don't business. I don't give a fuck. You're not going to disrespect me. I can't sleep until I've spoken to you. I've got to his house now. I've said bye to my girls before in it. I've got to his house. I'm banging the fucking door down in it. But God God loved me. God was by my side because God made sure that he, he was sleeping inside that living room, yeah? Because the first door you... Like, the first... Next to the door is the living room. So, I was licking the living room door. I was banging on the door and he was like, Yo, he was like, who's that? Who's that? I was like, it's Rene. Open the door. He's like, babe, we, babe, what's going on? Like, why are you coming to the house so late? Why have you not called me before you come? I said, I didn't know I had to do that. When last did I have to do that? Uh, he's opened the door. Instantly, I've looked at him and I just wanted to knock him the fuck out. But I said, you know what? Fighting him right now, it's not going to give me what I want. So we sat down in the living room. He's all giving me hugs and kisses and everything, blah, blah, blah. So I said to him, do you know some do, do you know some girl called digestive? He's like, who's digestive? I said, do you know some girl called digestive? He's like, ah, oh, you know I know her, so why are you asking me? I swear that's your friend, some girl that used to be your friend. I was like, so wait, if you know that she used to be my friend, because I know you know her, so tell me why are you fucking her? He's like, what, what, what are you talking about? Bruv, don't come here, don't, that's when I started to clock, you're a pussy hoe and you knew what you was doing, prick. So he was like, don't come to my house at 7 o'clock in the morning telling me that like, fuck this girl, you dumb bruv, are you dumb bruv, getting bare rude, you know, giving me bare attitude, giving me bare verbals, that's it, I couldn't take it no more. I started smashing shit up in his house, I started breaking glasses, I started breaking his fucking little, little football thing that he loves so much and his football fucking frame. I went into the living room and I was like, listen, if you don't tell me shit, I'm going to cut up your fucking clothes don't ever disrespect me the shoes the, the the jacket that i got him every gift that i got him i started um dashing shit on it like i dashed the orange juice that was on the dress on it he loves drinking boost the energy drink i dashed it all over his clothes i was like what what are you gonna do what are you gonna do me and him started fighting you know me and this guy we went blows like me and this guy we started fighting the fuck out of each other like he was punching me giving me some hard punches i was smacking him up like i don't care like it's not an issue like i will fight you it's not an issue like you disrespect me you're gonna get smacked up period didn't it like cool you can say i've got anger problems it's not normal to fight a boy but don't think any guy is going to disrespect me and i'm not gonna put my hands on you but i don't care if you're a guy you will still get it regardless it's not an issue as long as i know i've done what i've done to fuck you up so you don't disrespect me it is what it is so cool, after that whole situation now, and we've gone out because obviously the neighbors called the police. And obviously I've run, I've got my bag and I've ducked out because I ain't going to jail. I'm not going, I'm not sleeping in no cells for no man. So I've ducked out now, I've jumped in my Uber and I've gone home in it, yeah? But as I've gone home now, I don't know where he think he was going, but he was going to buck her. So I said, okay, is that what you're going to do? You're going to buck her. You're going to take the piss out of me. Don't ever disrespect me. So I've seen him get into his car and he's drove to her house. She does not even live that far from him. She lives a good, she lives a good 30 minutes drive from him. So I've said to the Uber, 
what I need you to do, because obviously the Uber drove down the road, but obviously as the Uber drove down his road, we had to reverse to go back up the road because it was a one, it was basically a one a one way road. So I've seen him come out and jump to the car. So I'm thinking, where are you going? I know he's going to a house. So he's got, he literally drove to a house. I told the Uber to follow the car. And he said, change, um, you have to change the destination. I can't just follow the car. So I changed the destination because I know where the little dirty hole is. So as, as he's changed the destination, I followed. I've come out the car. I've seen her, I've seen her open the door. So I said to him, what? So is this what you came to do? Is this what you came to do? She's like, why would you bring her to my house? Why? So what? Is you trying to set me up? I was like, no, babe. No one trying, no one wants to set you up. I came to see what really is going on here. So obviously I end up fighting her. He started, he started pulling me. I started beating him up. She, like, it was just so messy. Like, two of them were trying to fight me. I said, none of you don't want this smoke. I started beating them in my bag. Like, guys, it was so bad that the lady next door was recording everything. The lady next door, she was a yardy woman. She comes out of her house and she started cussing, 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 cussing. But obviously, because I was cussing the girl out in Patois, the woman, my, the yardy woman was like, she kind of understood, like, wait there, so I jumped me a can girl, this I beat up the girl. All right, then, so she jumped in and she had cost the girl now. And she said, oh, you can't do it, you can't do it, so you can't do it. So obviously now, we've stopped fighting, and the, the Jamaican ladies take me, put me into a house, and give me some water. She's calmed me down, I'm crying, I'm angry, I'm fucking fuming. So obviously, she's like, listen, no stress yourself over no man. Your mother never tell you, so when I, I'm a man born your back, if I'm born him back, to make no man take no born pan you I'm thinking, yeah, she's gassed me. I said, say no more. True, say I know your boy likes me. Your boy's been, been, your, your boy's been trying to chat to me. So you know what? Yes, you can call, you can say I was a little bitch. I was a little hoe. You can say what you want to say, but you ain't gonna, you, you ain't gonna fuck my up and think I'm not gonna get one back on you. I'm gonna, you've hurt me, so I'm gonna make you feel it ten times deeper. So I started chatting to his boy. First, in fact, the boy started chatting to me, yeah, and the boy wanted to take me out to go eat. Cool. It was a little cheeky little fucking um, lunch. We went out to eat at G um, Gourmet Burger Kitchen or whatever, right? So we ate and everything. Cool. I started flirting with him. He started flirting with me back. One thing led to another. You can agree to disagree. I'd rather you not. So I'm taking pictures in this guy's car. I'm all taking pictures of him. He's all giving me hugs. And listen, when I tell you I took a picture of me wearing his Rolex, yeah, and I sent it all to him. And I was like, how does it feel to know that your own nigga face got written off by me? And I just sent him that little cheeky little message. I blocked him, everything. Then him and the guy, they butt each other. They had a fight. And that was it. That was the story. Don't ever think you're going to cheat on me and you're going to bun me and you're going to fuck my up and you're going to disrespect me the way you disrespect me and I'm not going to get one back on you. Yes, it wasn't the smartest thing to do. Yes, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have done that dirt, that dirty kind of move with the friend. But let me tell you something. I didn't feel no way. I didn't feel bad. I felt Gucci afterwards. I felt normal. The pretty panelly side, where you are, you're entitled to your opinions. I'd rather you not on my channel. So, guys, that is the end of the story time. I just literally want to come and just tell you guys that because I was done out here. And I don't give a fuck that anybody wants to say, call me a hoe. Call me every name in the sun, honey. I don't care. I'm living my life and he deserved it. He cheated on me several times and he fucked me up and you know he's been sleeping with me up for months while he was sleeping with me and you think I'm not gonna fuck on him and not get back at him and make him feel what he I felt nah big boy you deserve every bit of that fuck that I gave. So that was the end of the story time. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and if you did enjoy the story time give your girl a thumbs up. If you're if you're new to my channel thank you guys so much for stopping by. My name is Renee aka Miss R Fabulous. Kaya your pretty penny said where you are never forget that make sure you like comment and subscribe i love you guys so much make sure you click the link in the description box below for all these beautiful pictures that i've inserted and that's the hair don't forget you're pretty on any side bye guys